Be whoever you need to be with Vital. That's right. We would like you to call us on 0839133728 to ask us any questions you have concerning uh, food and uh, nutrition and that kind of thing. Because the expert of that kind of field is here. Andrea Dupuisi joins us this morning to not talk about uh, like because we, we, we usually talk about the health benefits in terms of your your physical and uh, what, what you are like on the outside. But now we want to talk about foods that can help you be in a better mood. You know, waking up on Mondays thinking, ah, or a Friday the 13th, ah, yes. you know. We want to make you feel better. And yesterday, we, we kind of took, took a dip into that, didn't we? Now I had that muesli with the yogurt and the cinnamon for breakfast, and I was in a good mood all day. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you must have had the rooibos muesli this morning then, yes. hey? I had people saying to me on Facebook, oh, have you, have you soaked your muesli in that, in that tea? But um, I, I guess the, the important thing when it comes to this, uh, to start with, is to understand and where food goes or those chemicals that we're talking about, because we talk about mm -hmm. serotonin and endorphins, those happy hormones, That's right. where they go to, where they come from. So understanding how the brain works, right? Well, it's so interesting because your brain is made up of different components that you get through the diet. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think it's a fast hack to plot, but you have a bit of a plot. The omega 3s form part of our brain tissues, but also the brain chemicals and hormones. Mm -hmm. And they see that. Um, Often when people feel a bit depressed with mild depression, there may be a bit of an imbalance and a shortage of the healthy omega-3s in the diet. Mm -hmm. So they've done quite a few studies using omega-3 fatty acids in supplements like salmon oil, etc., um, to help manage mild depression. And in one study, actually, they compared the efficacy, um, so how effective mm -hmm. um, a very well-known antidepressant was in managing mild depression compared with a very high dose of omega-3. Wow. And they found the same results. And the benefit, obviously, of a nutritional supplement is that you don't have the side effects that you get with medicine. Oh, right. But um, it's quite important if somebody suffers with depression that they speak to their physician first, or if somebody is on medication for de depression, not to go off the medication before they don't consult with their doctor first. Yes. But um, something like omega-3 can definitely be used in conjunction with um, current treatment, or in some cases can actually be used as a natural alternative. Lovely stuff. Okay, so we do have a caller on the line right now. Sarki, good morning, Sarki. Morning. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Lovely, great having you here. Uh, Andrea's here for you, so you can go right ahead and ask your question. Hi, Hi good morning. Andrea. Hi. Uh, I want to know from you, the old age is catching up with me and I need some tummy fat removal. What Sorry. is the best Just, just repeat that last part, please, Sarki. Uh, I need products that I can use for tummy fat. Tummy pain. Fat. Yes. You know, tummy it, fat, she says. Oh, tummy fat. Yes. Oh, right. You know, with um, weight loss in general, there isn't something that will specifically target in on tummy fat, unfortunately. Um, in, if you look at weight loss, you specifically look at exercise and a healthy diet and energy control diet, so reducing your portion sizes, etc. What can help a lot um, with tummy fat specifically is um, training that area, so doing um, stomach, ex or stomach muscle exercises, sit-ups, for instance, because that tones the muscles underneath. So yeah. that will help a great deal, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarki, really appreciate it. And you at home, of course, can still call us 0839133728 for any questions you may have. But like like you were saying right now, that of course, supplements uh, are an, a bit of a, an aid to, to help you up. Well, that's why they're called supplements. Yes, exactly, mm. but you know, more than that, it's a bit of a lifestyle change, and especially yes. when we come to mood foods. Yes, there are the foods, but still, get your exercise in. Get your, your, your good liquids and drink water and that kind of thing. Right? And you know, on Sunday on Hello Doctor, between 4 and 5 on SABC3, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be discussing further details about depression and nutrition, etc. So I think people can learn a lot. And um, the, I'm, I'm so impressed. Look at this. Hey, you know, you. There's no coffee here. You, <laughs> you've sparked <laughs> this. You've started this. Because um, coffee is good in moderation. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen a few studies coming out now saying how beneficial small amounts of caffeine can be. But for somebody who suffers with depression, they shouldn't overdo it. Yeah. Because you know what, caffeine gives you that spike in your mood and energy and all of that, but it also drops Brings it off. Yes. pretty hard. You don't have any superstitions, do you? No, luckily not. Well, thank goodness for that. Yes. Well, if you do have, you can get lucky with your Smart Shopper card today. Kia has more details. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.